Good morning, everybody. I'm here at um, 50 Shades of Pissed Off. <laughs> uh, false flags. Why the elite always use the hoax model now instead of really killing people. <laughs> Mankind's last hope. All right, this came out actually June 7, 2017. Look at <laughs> look at these cartoons. If you're anything like me, as soon as you hear the news about a big shooting or a terrorist attack in Europe or America, you roll your eyes and yawn. Then you go pop some pop some popcorn and kick back in your recliner to watch the amusing theatrics that always follow. Then you go post something on social media along the lines of, here we go again. And within minutes, people are jumping in and leaving comments like, not everything is fake. Sometimes these are real events. And in response to that, I say, nope. Today in, well, I'm gonna change that to 2018. Anything that makes simultaneous nationwide headlines and is covered nonstop for a week or even a couple days is always a fake hoax event. I can say almost I can almost say this with a hundred percent certainty. Okay, maybe ninety nine point nine percent certainty, but I'm pretty confident. I know it's hard to swallow, but they would prefer to use a hoax model over just killing people, but they've, I'm sorry, but they've been using the hoax false flag now since about 2008, and here's why they fake all these events instead of just sending in a patsy and really, really killing victims. The model that they like to use involves no real victims. And no, it's not because they value human life. They view us as cattle. Killing people is what they do for breakfast every day. The reason they like to use the hoax model is simply because it's not nearly as messy as the alternative. And no, I'm not speaking in terms of blood and guts messy. When people don't truly own their grief, they can be controlled much more easily. The deep state learned their lesson after really killing people in the false flag of 9-11. The victims' families could not be controlled or managed to say the things they wanted them to say or push the agenda they wanted pushed. The agenda 9-11 was meant to push, I'm sorry, okay, the agenda 9-11 was meant to push, was, uh, was often overshadowed by the victims' families demanding answers. Some of the very first truthers were the friends and family members of 9-11 victims. Real people and real events, quote unquote, go off the tracks. Real victims don't follow scripts, can't be controlled, and get and get to be problems for the crime syndicate. It gets way too messy and complicated when they really kill people. And then there is real grief and anger from loved ones. And they, they like these false flags to be real tidy. They are control freaks. <laughs> when your grief is not real and you are in on it, you follow orders. You stick to the agenda and the talking points. You say whatever you're told. You don't become a pesky nag in their side demanding answers or become an amateur sleuth who angrily starts revealing the holes you find in the story on a quest to find out what really happened to your loved one. Remember this one? <laughs> that face you make when your son just got murdered? <laughs> She's all smiling. <sighs> no one will be sued just like at Sandy Hook, where not one of the parents sued the school 
or sued anyone for preventing the first responders from entering the building. Having zero lawsuits filed after that kind of tragedy is unheard of. Real victims would mean that real lawsuits would be filed by their loved ones, which means that the real evidence would be poured over and scrutinized in court with a magnifying glass, and of course, we can't have that. Fake victims, no real deaths, equals crisis actors playing loved ones. Crisis actors instead of real heartbroken angry loved ones equals no lawsuits and no questions. Yeah, remember her again? There she is again. And this is why they have almost always used the hoax model for all false flags. And they've conditioned the people to shame anyone who questions the official narrative, as though asking questions is disrespectful to the deceased. Patriotism, sorry, patriotism means no questions. A message from the Ministry of Homeland Security. I say save your self-righteous anger for someone else. Anytime there's a mass shooting being covered by our sold-out government-controlled media for days on end, you better believe I'm going to take a good long look at it. They are proven liars who stage psyop after psyop, psyop on us. The default position must now be disbelief until proven otherwise. Conspiracy theorist. Someone who questions the statements of known liars. We know that the New World Order is almost here, and that's no huge new story, is randomly being told by coincidence. There is an argument to be made that if the government and the media did that now, that might be considered wasted resources. All big news stories now have a specific purpose. And like this, in order to protect all the chickens against accidents and violence, we legislate <laughs> that from tomorrow on, all chickens must surrender their weapons. Of course, the foxes will provide the security. Just pause and look at these, these cartoons. Okay. Do not, un I love this. Do not underestimate the pricks. <laughs> Psychopaths really in charge. When you have unlimited money, resources, technology, and power, and you are hell-bent on conditioning the population, you can and will do just about anything. They can and they do. Don't be deceived. False flags, lives matter. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, the following is a great piece by one of my many favorite writers, Bernie Suarez. He really gets into the psychology of all of this and points out the obvious that no one really talks about, about how bizarre this all is, being able to see that the government is faking all these events. Okay, quotes, chaos and fear, the new norm in America, as many assume the reality of staged events. There is a new norm in America that is one of chaos, race wars, mass shootings, that are supposedly all real, unless of course you can provide a mountain of evidence to debunk the official mainstream media narrative, police announcements, or whatever intelligence sources are saying. This is new this new norm is being is even being contributed to by many alternative media sources. That's right. I see it on YouTube all the time. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. This new norm is even being contributed. Hold on. I just got a little message. Okay. Um, let's see. One more time. I'm sorry. This new norm is even being contributed to by many alternative media sources, 
in the interest of being correct and authentic about what they are saying. I discuss this major logical fallacy of assumed truth and how it contributes to the core government deception long ago in an article, How Small Lies Obscure Objective Truth and Simplicity. And I can't help but notice how more than ever we are being asked to accept core narratives presented by mainstream media as truth until until and only you and only until you the independent thinker can mount up enough proof to debunk it i believe this single fallacy is one of the greatest obstructions of truth and one of the greatest psyop tools being used to sell every single staged shooting event we are now seeing in the news every day. This fallacy is allowing the transition of America from what, what was a country of law and order to one of chaos, fear, and daily psychological operations being played on the general public. The younger millennials generation may find what I am saying, what I'm about to say, unimaginable based on the world we currently live in today. But believe it or not, there was a time in America where people could plan for a future. Sorry, my cat once again made me lose my place. Okay, oh, here we go. I'm just going to start over. Sorry. The younger generation, millennials, may find what I'm about to say unimaginable based on the world we currently live in today. But believe it or not, there was a time in America where people could plan for the future. There was a time when there was actually a sense of normality all around us, and there was a sense of justice and accountability at the government level, even if it was mostly the perception of it. Once upon a time, people had a sense of a personal, private life that was distinguishable from their public life. There was even a time when you could comfortably plan on traveling pretty much anywhere in the world, especially here in the United States for business or pleasure, without having <laughs> to deal with the prospects of quotes unquote terrorism or another PSYOP mass shooting, uh, terror, truck drivers, snipers, or lockdowns. You also didn't have to worry about a violent police state, checkpoints, surveil surveillance cameras, killer robots, government spying, and 24-7 fear death and destruction being put out by the mainstream media news. There was a sense of order. In other words, that many of us still remember, and we remember exactly what it felt like. Obviously, you can't miss something or yearn for days you've never experienced. This disconnect that the younger generation has to what some may refer to the good old days is important in the grand scheme of things because this chaos is all they know. And it is a grand example of learned helplessness. For the first time in modern American history, we have a generation that doesn't know what order, calmness, and peace looks like. They have no idea what it's like to not be at war. Well, I'm in my 50s and uh, we've been at war all my life, all right? Um, okay, and now with the ruling elite moving, moving as fast as ever to get their new world order done, we are seeing a brand new level of chaos and fear slowly becoming the new norm and that particularly the millennials are being led to believe the inevitable and the new unavoidable reality. How much longer is this? I'm running out of time, that's why. Um, this is just a second. Yeah, I, I'm kind of limited on the memory of my computer. Okay, many, pe many people would agree the term in your face is a good way to describe the nature of the Western cabal's world order that is being pushed on us all, on us all both here in the U.S. and around the world. Everyone is feeling it and witnessing it with their own eyes. We are watching a global government attempt to give birth 
and many of us are doing everything we can to stop this process by sharing information. Events are unfolding faster than ever before. Meanwhile, across the other side of the world, Russian President Vladimir Putin is making one urgent speech after another, warning of the reality that is soon becoming an irreversible path to nuclear war and due to NATO-US relentless aggression and taunting. Okay, uh, first of all, nuclear is a hoax. So um, I'm gonna end it here, okay? I just like to get to the, to the, pull, to the bullet points. So I will post the link in the description box. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you. And have a wonderful day. And don't be deceived. All right. Until next time. Have a, have a great day.